is when unexpectedly a Goliath evil presence monkey shows up before them. The man is then savagely gone after and sent flying like a cloth doll as the wicked monster gives off an impression of being simply excessively strong and I can't stand it when that happens following this. Sun Wukong is briefly introduced to us as an arrogant man who once caused trouble in the heavenly palace hundreds of years ago. He is shown to have broken through the sky and caused chaos, which eventually led to him being kicked out of the heavenly palace. Moving on to the present, he has now fallen to the ground, been imprisoned, and his whereabouts are unknown. We are shown a young girl named Yi, who is searching for Sun Wukong. She desires to find him so she can look for his assistance in arriving at the Sky Castle. Turns out Yi needs to report her lamentable destiny of losing her folks, who were killed by Lengthy Taizi, the Lord of Winged Serpent. One day, he arrives at the alleged location of Wukong's imprisonment, however, she encounters evil demons who attempt to capture her. As she tries to flee, she begins to run, but the surface breaks and she falls into it with this. The evil presences are going to catch the young lady, yet unexpectedly they hear a natural voice. Wu Kong alone is the culprit. The main issue is that he is limited by shackles, so the evil presences totally overlook him, yet all at once he incidentally contacts a button that sets Wu Kong free from his detainment. He quickly defeats all of the bad guys with his flashy moves now that he is free, and then he and you leave the scene together. We see Taisei looking at his old royal residence, which has been annihilated by the strong Wukong. At the same time a maid comes in with a drink and starts making fun of the old palace, he is still devastated by the incident. This rankles Taisei such a lot of that he wounds the poor maid to death angrily sooner or later. Taisha gets Grant that Wukong has been liberated and is planning to take part in a wild fight with him and he's a. Then that housekeeper, in the meantime, Wukong awakens the young lady from her days and when she sees him, she embraces him firmly, yet he is uncertain of how to address Wukong as she is befuddled about whether he is an evil spirit or a creature to explain her disarray. Wukong affirms that he is as a matter of fact the monkey ruler, you'll simply a monkey even begs him to help her arrive at the superb castle as she tries to report the lord of mythical serpent for the deplorable mix-up of having killed her folks. Wukong doesn't say okay, yet he chooses to bring her to his old back home so they leave on their excursion, crossing through different landscape until they happen upon a town of devils that has all the earmarks of being abandoned after looking into it further. Wukong takes it upon himself to fight against Shanghai and put an end to his reign of terror, but they realize that the demons are being mercilessly shackled and depressed by a tyrannical ruling god named Shanghai as a result of their previous rebellion against the gods. The demons are now being slaughtered one after the other in an act of gruesome punishments, appalled by the sight. Wukong is abruptly tapped on the shoulder from behind by his own browser before he can react. Several hours later, he is killed by Brother Lu. Leo admits that he knocked Wukong unconscious to save him from being killed because he knows his brother is currently powerless without his golden stick, which is trapped within the Sea Kingdom. Lu tries to discourage Wukong from fighting against the god because he had previously made a grave mistake by rebelling in the Heavenly Palace just to prove of superiority. Wukong wakes up to find himself in Lu's residence. Little Yi is also there, enjoying some food. Wu Kong's actions had led to the deaths of many of his brothers, despite the fact that he intended to protect his brothers from being undervalued. Leo warns him not to make the same mistake again, but Wu Kong ignores him and the two fight. Wu Kong decides to leave the place, but he is stopped by a sister in law who arrives with several demon armies and refuses to back down. Wu Kong fights hard against all of them and wins. Leo, on the other hand, appears to be fragile in Lu when he arrives, and the two brothers startlingly hammer and tongs at each other. Profits from this, and fortunately, you intervene before anyone is hurt and manages to escape with Wukong elsewhere Long Taisei is approached by a god named Muzan, who hands him a devil-made weapon. Muzan gives Taisei the weapon in order to prevent Wukong from causing chaos like he did before the gods fear that Wukong may repeat his previous actions. The weapon is said to possess dangerous abilities that enable the user to control individuals affected by its magic power. They are worried about his freedom because of this, but Muzan tells Tyson not to use the weapon for his own gain and to just take Wukong hostage because the Heavenly Palace has the final say. Tyson refuses to cooperate and kills Moose right away. Claiming that he does not require the assistance of anyone in order to capture Wukong, he then took the weapon. Even though he tells his men to get rid of Wukong after hearing that he killed the god, 
it is clear that Taizi did this on purpose to get the gods to follow Wukong. In another location, Wukong finally makes it to his old home after a tiring journey. There, he tries to retrieve his golden stick. There, he meets his pet, a giant gorilla, and tries to greet him. However, the gorilla does not recognize Wukong due to the years of separation and instead becomes aggressive, which is fortunate. Using a banana, he manages to calm him down. Banana following that. The two got to the place where the golden stick is kept. Wukong tries his hardest to get it, but a short while later, he can't get it to move. A serpent general appears to stop Wukong, but he is at a disadvantage because he does not have his trusted weapon. In a fierce battle with Wukong, he struggles to fend off the serpent's attacks and is soon forced into a corner in a moment of desperate need. You are accidentally hurt by the serpent, which causes her holy blood to flow onto the golden stick. At that moment, the weapon comes to life and glows with a powerful aurora before releasing from the seal. This energizes Wukong and he uses his stick to Wukong. After effortlessly defeating the serpent general and sending U.S. back, he promises to take her to the heavenly palace. In the following scene, the cruel Shanghai slaughters the defenseless demons until it is the turn of a child. Liu, who is also present, tries to stop the heartless god by offering him money, but instead, avail yourself of it because Shanghai wants to replace the child with the sacrifice of another demon. When no one steps up, Liu looks at his friends in shock. Wu Kong suddenly appears out of nowhere and starts fighting against the bad guys. Reinvigorated by his magical stick, he takes down everyone and almost manages to kill Shanghai, who believes that they are not heartless and should show mercy to their enemies. After the encounter, the demons begin chanting for Wu Kong, which he even agrees to help him get to the heavenly palace, but Liu continues to be stubborn and won't help his brother. And citing Wu Kong to leave with different evil presences, in the meantime, the snake general reports to Tasia. About his fruitless endeavor to prevent Wukong from recovering his brilliant stick he likewise uncovers the significant data that a young lady's blood unlocked the brilliant stick Taisei is irritated by this information, so he chooses to have the young lady captured. Believing that the magic weapon provided can be activated by her blood. Two by Musen. Later on, Wukong and his group of demons continue their journey to fight cruel village rulers. Their battle was successful, and they were able to easily defeat the oppressors. After this victory, they decide to celebrate with a small party. However, they don't know that the Serpent General sneaks into their party by pretending to be a member of Wukong's demon army later that night, while Wukong and Yi are spending time together. The young girl reveals that since her parents were killed by Taizi, she has led a lonely life. Wukong tries to console her by promising to take her to the Heavenly Palace soon. The following day, Wukong and his army capture Shanghai. Despite Wu Kong's desire to execute him, Yi is sick of the violence. Wu K. Ong and Yi get into a fight over this decision, which causes Wu K. Ong to leave in rage as she walks away. The Serpent General seizes the opportunity and abducts Wu K. Ong as soon as they arrive at Taizi, and the latter immediately takes action and activates his perilous magic weapon with her blood. He then shockingly controls his mind to test the weapon on one of his soldiers. Now that he knows the weapon works, the poor guy does the unthinkable and plans to ruin Wukong's reputation. So with no further ado, he takes over Wukong body and powers him to battle against his own military in spite of Wukong's endeavors to oppose the wizardry as excessively strong and he can't recapture control of his own body subsequently. Tyson even makes Wukong kill his own Goliath path the experience leaves Wukong grief-stricken and broke as he can't keep his own body from completing these outrages after a brief time. The enchantment controlling Wukong body scatters, leaving him crushed and loaded up with lament Taisy makes the most of the open door and grabs Wukong's brilliant stick, involving it as a haggling boat to save his life be that as it may, Taisy soon deceives and similarly as he is going to execute Wukong. After Leo rescues Wukong and destroys his weapon, the action shifts to the moment when Wukong wakes up from a terrible nightmare that left him feeling hopeless and uncertain. Lee was unable to assist him because the other demons believe Wukong to be a traitor, so he turns to his brother for assistance. Because of the heinous acts he carried out, they are even looking for Forum. After the devastating events, Wukong is left with nothing but his own willpower to persevere. As a result, his future looks bleak. Wukong must now live his life alone, filled with disappointment and a longing for companionship. 
He walks the town with a heavy heart, concealing his identity from anyone who might one day perceive him as a traitor. He meets Shanghai, who is also upset that everyone has rejected him. Since he has nothing to lose, he discloses Yeast's location. This data revives Wukong trust and assurance to Hero, so he sets out on one more excursion, yet since he doesn't have his number one weapon, he essentially conveys a customary stick back at the royal residence the snake general changes his heart and chooses to help Yi in light of the fact that he understands how savage and uncalled for Pice's activities are and he can't tolerate seeing an honest young lady endure, in any case, before he can carry out his strategy. While in captivity, the serpent general reveals to you why he despises Wukong. According to him, the chaos and destruction Wukong caused in the past affected all demons, including himself. Taizi also captures him and throws him into prison. Wukong at last arrives at the castle of the mythical beast god and accuses at him of his common stick Taizi stays unmoved and unflinching by his appearance, realizing that Wukong is feeble without his brilliant stick by the by. Our hero battles energetically utilizing the small weapons that he has regardless of his earnest attempts. Tyson acquires the high ground and corners Wukong with his spear, meaning to strike the last blow, however right then the snake general returns, having liberated himself and Yi utilizing his enchanted following this Wukong and the snake general collaborate to face Taizi in a savage fight, yet regardless of even their consolidated endeavors. They can't overcome the god tragically in that frame of mind of the battle, Kaizi heaves his harpoon towards killing her. In front of Wukong, inflicting unimaginable pain and despair on him. Paisi wants Wukong to feel the pain of losing someone close to him, but Yi's death has an unexpected effect. Her holy blood mixes with Wukong's soul, turning him into an invincible figure who will eventually overthrow the Monkey King. Wukong's rage takes control, and the demons realize that the Monkey King has returned with a vengeance. With his extraordinary strength, Wukong retrieves his golden stick and makes it big enough to pierce the sky and take him to the heavenly palace. Here he means to report Yi's demise and retaliate for the Lord of Mythical Serpent's activities in a serious fight Wukong then battles Taizi and can hold his own in any event, when the last option changes into his winged serpent symbol, he determinedly beats the shrewd god and losses him fiercely nonetheless. Wukong recalls his promise to Yi that he would not kill anyone when he is about to kill Tiza. Shortly after Leo and the Serpent General arrive to assist Wukong and execute Taizi, he makes the decision to spare Tai's his life, which was almost certainly a mistake. However, the fact that he tells them to put an end to Wukong's appearance in the Heavenly Palace is not meant to cause trouble. However, Lord Buddha appears in front of Wukong to make amends and prevent further disturbances. He acknowledges that Taisei had exceeded the limits and that Wukong's actions were justified. He also shows that he is proud of Wukong, who has changed himself and doesn't look for upheaval any longer. Upon hearing this, Wukong promises to abandon his arrogance and support his demon comrades in carrying out righteous deeds. Finally, Yi spirit ascends into the sky, completing Wukong's mission in the final scene. Lord Buddha advises him to forgive Yi's departure because her presence in the world was meant to eliminate Wukong's selfish nature and help him become a better person. A monk falls into the pit, and hundreds of years later, Wukong is seen recovering on Mount Fuji. Additionally, Wukong recognizes him as the dream god's reincarnation. Wukong's true identity is unknown to the dragons, so the monk wonders if he is a demon. These words rekindle Wukong's desire to demonstrate to the world that he is the great monkey king, animal or human. I am the leader of the monkeys. Turn on notifications, please subscribe for more videos like this one and like the channel to support it. I appreciate your attention.